says, let's determine the magnitude and direction of a force of plus three nanocoulomb particle would experience at point A. Notice this is point A right here, and also notice there are two other particles in this system, one being a plus four nanocoulomb charge towards the left, that's 20 micrometers away from point A, and the other being a minus five nanocoulomb charge, that's 10 micrometers away towards the right of point A. First, let's use your physics intuition to determine the directions of the forces acting on point A. So you know this particle right here, the plus four nanocoulomb particle is obviously a positive charge and it's represented by this plus. The plus three nanocoulomb charge at point A is also a positive charge. And the minus five nanocoulomb charge is a negative charge and it's represented by this minus sign. So the basic rules we know about charges and attractions with one another is like charges repel and opposite charges attract. So since this is a plus charge or a positive charge and this is also a plus charge or a positive charge we know that the plus four nanocoulomb charge and the plus three nanocoulomb charge will repel one another because they're the same. So if the force that the plus four nanocoulomb charge exerts on the plus three nanocoulomb charge is a repulsion you know that the force will point away from the four nanocoulomb particle. So we can go ahead and draw that force vector right here and call it F of plus four. So it's pointing away from this particle because it's a repulsion force. Now let's move on to the minus five nanocoulomb particle. So since this is a negative charge and this is a positive charge, you know that the plus three nanocoulomb particle at point A will be attracted to the minus five nanocoulomb particle since it's an attraction, we're going to draw the force vector pointing towards the 5 nanocoulomb particle. And we're going to call that F of minus 5. So notice both of these force vectors are pointing in the same direction. So we can go ahead and add them to find the net force. So let's go ahead and add these vectors to find the net force. And remember, this is just vector math, very basic. So f of plus 4 plus f of minus 5 equals f net. And I tried to draw these vectors accordingly to size, so bear with me please. <laughs> and f net is right here. f net is pointed towards the right. So now we know that the net force acting in point A is directed towards the right. Since both of the vectors from the plus 4 nanocoulomb charge and the minus 5 nanocoulomb charge are pointing in the same direction. How do we find the magnitude now? So in order to find the magnitude of the net force acting from each particle at point A, we're going to use Coulomb's law. Coulomb's law is F equals K times Q1 over Q2, oh sorry, K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared. Now let's go ahead and define these variables. F is force, K is the proportion proportionality constant, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th. Newtons times meters squared over coulomb squared is the units for the proportionality constant. And Q1 is the charge on particle 1 in coulombs. Q2 is the charge on particle 2 in coulombs. And R is the distance between the particles in meters. Note we don't want to, we don't have to worry about signs when we use Coulomb's law. We don't have to worry whether Q1 or Q2 is positive or negative. In order to determine the, the direction of the force, we're going to use our physics intuition in what we know about repulsions and attractions, as we did earlier. So now that we know what law to use, let's go ahead and solve for the force acting on point A from the plus 4 nanocoulomb particle. So the plus 4 nanocoulomb particle is right here, and it's 20 micrometers away from point A. And point A is plus 3 nanocoulombs. We can go ahead and use Coulomb's law. F equals K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th, which is K, times 4 times 10 to the negative 9th, which is Q1, times 3 times 10 to the negative 9th, which is Q2, over 20 times 10 to the minus 6th squared which is r squared so when you go ahead and do the math 
we end up that the force acting on point A from the plus 4 nanogram particle is 270 newtons. So we can go ahead and say that the plus 4 nanogram particle creates a 270 newton force at point A. And a quick reminder, notice that I change these to standard units. So even though it's nanocoulombs, I change them to coulombs. So nano is 10 to the negative 9th power. So I made that conversion on the top. And micro is 10 to the minus 6th power. And I made that conversion in the bottom. Be careful with that. That can get a lot or really tricky really fast. Okay, now let's find the force of point A or the force point A experiences from the minus 5 nanocoulomb particle. So this is the plus 3 nanocoulomb particle at point A, and this is the minus 5 nanocoulomb particle. We know that these two are going to attract. That's why the force from the minus 5 nanocoulomb charge is pointing point A towards itself. And notice that min the minus 5 nanocoulomb particle is 10 micrometers away from point A. So we can go ahead and carry out Coulomb's law, K equals, or F equals K times Q1 times Q2 over R squared equals 9 times 10 to the 9th times 3 times 10 to the minus 9th times 5 times 10 to the minus 9th over 10 times 10 to the minus 6th squared. So we can go ahead and carry the math, and our answer should be 1,350 newtons. So we can go ahead and say that the 5 or the minus 5 nanocoulomb particle creates a 1,350 newton force at point A. Now finally, let's add the two vectors together to find the net force acting on point A from both particles here and here. So let's add these forces. Remember these are just vectors. F of plus 4 plus F of minus 4 equals F net which is 270 newtons or F4 plus 1350 newtons or F5 or F negative 5 equals 620 newtons which is F net. So the answer to this problem is the magnitude of the net force acting on point A is 1620 newtons and is directed towards the right.